Hey everybody, thanks so much for coming. I just wanna welcome you to our wedding. Thank you so much for joining us on our special day. We just wanted to take a moment to kind of talk about our story together and the time that we've had. That was awful. You did great. No. I told my story a dozen times. Your story's a little different. Oh well, yeah, then let's just assume that yours is right. Eh. I know it's not, but let's pretend. So Fred and I met at North Church, and that night we were both being introduced as sixth grade small group leaders. And at the beginning of the night, I honestly thought he was a student until we were being introduced on stage, and they introduced him as the leader. And uh, afterwards, we talked for a second. I thought she was really cute. Um, I told her right off the bat that she looked like Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus, and she hated it. And I could immediately tell that he liked me, um, but I knew that he had to be a lot younger than I was. We'd known each other for probably a couple of weeks at this point, and so asking her out was the easy part. And he found my number and messaged me and asked me to lunch after church. And I had no idea that it was a date, even though he claims that he said the word date, but he didn't. One of our close friends, one of my groomsmen, J.C. Chapel, um, asked us what we were doing. We said we were getting ready to go to lunch. And him thinking that we were going in a group with a bunch of people invited himself. <laughs> um, and so she jumped on it. And then he realized that I had no idea that we were on a date and that this was a big mistake. And then he shows up and he's like, is it just, uh, just us three? And uh, I said, yep. And he said, am I interrupting something? And I said, I don't think so. It was a good lunch, but kind of decided that I should probably friend zone her after that. I was interested in somebody older than me. We just kept being friends. Um, I knew that if I was faithful in that situation, um, that I'd either gain a really good friend or I'd eventually get to marry her. I constantly found myself wanting to be with him, wanting to talk to him. And so on Wednesday nights, after I spoke at North Students in Guthrie, I would call her on my way home, uh, and we ended up staying on the phone for an hour or two at a time. Not long after that, we were meeting every day at a coffee shop. It came out that you know I still had feelings for her. And I told him I didn't know how to handle that, and I wanted to take the weekend, and so we wouldn't talk for the weekend, and I couldn't make it through the entire weekend without talking to him, and that's when I knew that I obviously had feelings for him, even though I tried not to because of the age difference. I think that the tipping point was probably when I told her that I loved her before we started dating in the parking lot of Target. Uh, and she, she kind of thought, oh wow, this is like, this kid's all in. Um, and it took a little bit, but she realized that she was hopelessly in love with me, like I had known she'd been the whole time. I, it was not a very long time. We dated for only three months, and we knew in that short time that we wanted to make the commitment to marry each other. Oof. Uh, the first time I kissed her, we were in, I think, the parking lot of like Quail Springs Mall. She looked beautiful, um, and I'd missed her, and there was no time like the present. We put God first, and we wanted to do that for forever, and that we knew we wanted to do that together forever. And so I knew as soon as I agreed to be his girlfriend that I wanted to marry him. So whenever I decided to propose to Kelsey, we'd been in quarantine for about three months at this point. Um, felt like a million years. What story did you tell? The right one. There, no. What? Did they ask you about a date? About what? A date. Yeah. Okay, which date did you say was our first date? Uh, I told them about the first date with JC. Yeah, no, me too. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, so whenever I decided to propose, um, it was already. Um, we were supposed to be hanging out during the day, and then in the afternoon. No, no, no. I started at the shower, the baby shower. Oh, that's right. So she was at a baby shower for my mentor's wife, Hope and so she was exhausted. And so she comes over to my house to take a nap, which is totally normal, totally fine. And so I'm at my desk working uh, and it starts getting time for her to be at a photo shoot for North Woman. And so I keep trying to wake her up and she is not having any of it. You were getting so mad at me for trying you to wake were you mad. up. No, you were mad at me and you were rushing me. I was and, rushing you. And you never rush me. Normally you tell me that I uh, need to take care of myself yeah. and nap and feel better. Yeah. And uh, he was a little hateful. He was 
trying to get me out of the house. And so I kept snoozing my alarm, telling him, wake me up in 30 minutes. For how long? Wake me up in 30 minutes. For like two I, hours, maybe? I don't remember. Yeah. I, maybe so, an hour So and she's a half. supposed to be at this photo shoot, um, and she's not ready for it. And so she told me it's going to take her at least, you know, 45 minutes to get ready at the beginning. And then the closer that we get to the time where she's supposed to be leaving to go get ready, it suddenly takes less and less time to get ready. <laughs> and so I go, uh, and I take a shower, and I start getting ready for proposal. She has no idea, okay. um, and so I'm ironing my shirt in the bathroom, uh, and I keep checking in. And I'm like, "Hey, you gonna, you know, get up and leave anytime soon?" And she's like, "No, I'm just gonna nap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna cancel." Yeah, you, you did. You told me I had to cancel, or that I couldn't cancel, yep. because I had made a commitment, mm -hmm. and that I needed to commit to going, and I had agreed to it, and this was for church. Yep. And I was like, I don't. I don't feel well, and it, it was very weird with how pushy you were being. Yeah. Um, and so I got up finally because he uh, was nagging me enough, and I got up, and um, which I don't know if you know this part of the story. I don't think I've ever said it. Uh, I didn't go immediately home to get ready. I uh, stopped at McDonald's <laughs> and got a Big Mac <laughs> to take your time. <laughs> to take my time. Uh, I hadn't eaten all day. And so then I went home and curled my hair and then uh, took my time getting ready. Probably should have already had my outfit picked out for the photo shoot. Uh, so I was trying on outfits, realized I was running light, which uh, is very like me. Yeah, that's pretty normal. And uh, I drive downtown to the Myriad Gardens. and Where I've been waiting for 20 minutes past when she's supposed to be there. 15 minutes. It was 15 minutes. It wasn't 20 minutes. Not that the five minutes makes a difference. Uh, and I'm driving around the park and I'm trying to find this group of women for the photo shoot and I'm looking everywhere and I'm texting them and I'm not getting any texts back. I told them all not to respond to her. They had started asking me. Um, and so I'm watching her circle the gardens <laughs> on uh, the Find My Friend uh, app and I'm like, she has no idea where she's going. But I can't say anything because I can't text her I'm like, hey, just park right over here because then she'll know that something's now, up. Yeah, you told me you were at the church, which I wasn't skeptical about it. You know, he never lies. Yeah. And so I had no reason to check the Find My Friends app to see where he was because I really thought I was going to a photo shoot. And so after about five minutes of walking around the park, this man says, hey, Kelsey, over here. And I'm thinking, I don't know you. I don't know <laughs> who you are. And But I see he has a camera. And I'm like, oh, he must be with North women. They must. He must know what I look like, so he's been searching for me. So as I start walking towards him, he starts taking photos, and I'm thinking, this isn't a photo that the church would want of just me walking. And then I turn the corner, um, and Fred is standing there under this beautiful pergola with a bouquet of my favorite flowers, and I suddenly realize that it's, it's not a church photo shoot that we were getting engaged. And then I suddenly felt really, really bad. <laughs> for uh, not waking up from my nap. It all made sense why he was rushing me. Um, and so that's when he, uh, I walked over to him. I think I actually said, you said, come here. And I said, I can't, I can't yeah. move. You remember when I tried to like adjust you to get a better camera and I was, for the photographer? I was and you're frozen, like, mm, no. I couldn't move. And, uh, and then he got down on one knee and proposed to me. And then we uh, went around the park and took some pictures. And after that, um, you had planned a party. No, 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 no. Uh, your friends had planned a party. Right. I commissioned them to plan a party because um, I'm terrible at those kinds of things. But her friends are great at them. So yes. they yes. planned everything, Shannon Fouts and Lena and Keisha and all the girls. They planned a party and so we got to celebrate with our closest friends and family. Yeah. So we have this really fun ritual where every night when I leave, we take like 20 minutes to say goodbye. Uh, well, I mean, I take like two minutes to say goodbye, and then she takes like. You tell me, I have, I say goodbye. I don't have short goodbyes. I, no. I like long. She goodbyes. has. What, what do you call them? Texas goodbyes? No, it, no, it's an Oklahoma goodbye. An Oklahoma goodbye. Uh, so it always takes a while. So I think I'm most excited for just not having to say goodnight Being from able afar. To be together and be a family. I'm very excited to uh, get to share a home with him and and eventually build a family. Um, we're very excited for two that. Two boys and a girl. No, no, that's in God's hands. You don't get to control <laughs> that. Um, but to spend more time with him and to just get to know him continually for the rest of our lives. Yeah, that process of 
forever. Yeah.